This is Doug Barnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today we got something new to share with you. The new Bluetooth remote control from Humminbird. This was an idea that I passed along a long time ago and it's something that's really cool. Uh, we'll open the package here and we'll get in here. It is a remote control for your Hummingbird Onyx or the Core Series unit, units. The 800, 900, 1100 series will also work with this remote control. What it allows you to do is you can mark waypoints, you can control settings, you can change views, you can switch between views here, you can go to the master menu, you can go to digits, and it's something that's going to be simple and easy and the things I think about is, man, if you're out there on a rough windy day or you catch a fish, you don't want to be bending over marking that spot real quick while you're trying to fight that fish. This remote control allows you to hang it on your body and use it when you catch that fish, when you are in adverse weather conditions like rough, rough water, bouncy seas, a lot of boat traffic, you want waves happening. You can hit mark real quick and boom, it's going to save it. In this box is going to be our manual. We're going to have our lanyard. And this is our dongle. This is the RC1 dongle that allows the unit to send and receive the Bluetooth signals. So, uh, and a battery. So let's jump in here. First thing we need to do is install the battery. There's one little screw on the back, a little small screwdriver. Just loosen it up. It's going to let you get in the back of the RC1. Pay attention. This is where the serial number for your remote control is going to be. It's going to be on here. This is the, the serial number for the dongle. What I'm going to do is snap a picture real quick with my cell phone of that so I have it I have this I like snapping a picture of my cell phone because that way you got your serial number handy if you need it you can register it. but just install the watch battery insert the uh, screw back tighten it down make sure it's good in there so it's good and watertight next thing you're going to take your lanyard loop going to run it through your remote and then it just snaps on to the end of the lanyard snaps on like that now we have handy dandy bingo I can hit the mark button without having to bend over no, it's not lazy. There's a lot of positions that you can do this, and you may want to make a small change, and this thing is customizable, and we're going to get into that here in just a second. I'm going to, next thing you'll need to do is hook up our dongle. If you are an Onyx user, user a Core Series user, user will be allowed to hook this directly to the back of the unit or using the ASYC cable, uh, you can hook this to your unit. It has two ends. The reason, if you have an external GPS receiver to an Onyx, you're going to be using the, the AS GPS NEMA cable. This end right here is what allows our GPS external GPS receiver. I'm just going to grab one here one second. If we're using an external GPS receiver, which we've got here, this would plug into normally plug directly into here and this is going to plug into the back of the unit in the NEMA 0183 port what you'll need to do is disconnect that connection and you're going to have male ends and you're going to have one that's a female end you just take the female end to that and then if you want to continue with the GPS receiver you can connect it to here if you're using the internal receiver you do not need this GPS receiver. We're just going to set it out of the way. On the back of the unit, back here, 
If you're looking at the back, it's going to be the third port from the right hand side is where this connector is going to go. And if you look, there's going to be an index here. That index is going to go towards the top. Plug it in. Screw it on. The first thing we're going to do is confirm that the onyx, and we'll go to our network tab, which will hit our home key. And then we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to the network down here. Um, and then we're going to go to network information. And if you look, we have our dongle and we have a remote. Those are going to be our two items here. That shows that the system on the Onyx is working. You will see this on the core series in your system status menu. Now, we'll exit out of here. Exit back. If you want to hit mark, which is going to be our top button, press that mark key is going to save a waypoint. So we have just added a new waypoint right here at our location. The plus and minus keys are customizable and we're going to be able to assign key functions uh, to them in the wireless remote menu widget. Uh, the menu key is going to be our left one. The data box is going to be the right one. Those are also we can customize and assign values those in the unit here. And then our arrow keys are going to be our next view and the left view and the right view so let's jump in here we're going to hit back to home have a widget right down here that says wireless remote click on it our plus and minus keys we can adjust sensitivity for our sonar we have sonar down imaging side imaging 360 chart hummingbird chart navionics charts and cmap charts and options uh, there's our what our plus and minus does. Our menu key, we can change switch fire. Our menu key press and hold is the frequency. We come over here to down imaging, we can do our plus and minus is sensitivity. Our sharpness is going to be our menu key. Press and hold is going to be the color palette. Side imaging is going to be sensitivity, sharpness, and the SI side, we can do that. And we can customize these here, but this is the factory defaults. 360 is our sensitivity display mode and 360 pinging. Our hummingbird chart, we can zoom, we can do depth highlight, and we can do the press and hold, we can do depth colors. Navionics, we've got zoom, 2D, 3D, I keep hitting the screen. Menu key, press and hold is easy view. And we need to come over here to CMAP. Is our, is our zoom, 2D, 3D, and magnifying no text. And then we got one last thing is our options down here. Our options, our mark key, press and hold, we can to power off. Uh, this shows our battery status here. Uh, we can sync new remote and we can edit the data box. So let's just jump in here real quick. Um, we'll just work with the factory defaults. If we're in here, we can use the plus and minus button. If I want to zoom out, we can see that I'm zooming out by hitting the minus sign. By the plus side, we can zoom in to that map. You'll notice that it's getting zoomed in. There is even more zoom and you can go farther into that um, menu key. That's going to show our depth highlight off. We're going to turn our depth highlight off. We can turn our depth highlight on. Here's Tapping our numbers gives us our data box, which has depth, uh, course overground, speed overground, 
and other information in it. Hit the data box again and it'll come back out of it. If I want to change screens and we're not we're running here on dry ground so we're not going to have any sonar returns this is going to show you what uh, the different screens are. Now you're going to have to chart you're going to have to toggle around but if we go to side imaging by that we're at our screen here if we wanted to increase we're going to see our sensitivity bar pop up here we can increase the sensitivity decrease the sensitivity from the remote 10 is factor defaults I'm leaving it there um, menu button shuts our sharpness to low right now medium high off our digits is back to there And this is by hitting the digit again, we'll come back out of it. It's a lot of cool stuff built in this little remote, and man, it's going to make it a lot easier when you're away from the when you're away from the unit where you don't have to touch the screen or touch the buttons on this Onyx or even the Core series. You can do it now from the new RC1 remote from Humminbird. It's a Bluetooth compatible remote. Simple to install, uh, direct if you're a core unit, you'll need the NEMA GPS cable, AS GPS NEMA from Humminbird to hook it in there and you can still run your GPS if you want to hook it into here, your external GPS receiver, you can run it off the same one. Uh, check it out, it still allows you to have full functionality of your, your buttons, your touch screens. If you want to come over here to mapping, you're back to there. You can still use the unit always the way you always have, but you've got the option now to have a remote that you can have hanging around your neck or wherever you want to put it and have instant touch access to making changes on your Humminbird Onyx. Check it out. I hope that helped you learn a little more about the RC1. It's something I'm really excited about. Um, it's going to be a good tool for us anglers to make it easier to run the unit, especially bow units or if you're uh, a trolling fisherman and you're at the back of the boat and you're not close to the unit, you can pick one of these up, put it on your, put it on your unit and not have to be at the unit to make functions on your unit. You can adjust it on the fly from wherever you are in the boat. Thank you for another tuning in to another set of tips and tricks and I hope you tune in next time as we go more in depth and I'll definitely be sharing more information on the RC1 it's going to be a great tool for a lot of anglers so check it out at Humminbird.com and get yourself a new Humminbird RC1 from your local Humminbird dealer thank you and tune in next time to another set of tips and tricks